Jag säger hjärtligt välkomna. Här sitter jag med Valtteri, vd på Arctic Blue Beverages. Och jag ska hoppa över till engelska nu. I'm saying once again, well t- welcome here, uh, Valtteri. Thank how you. How are you doing? I'm all right. Very good, actually. <laughs> nice to have you here. And you're about to get listed on the Swedish market. That's you're, correct. You're a Finnish company and, and you're doing beverages. Correct. Please walk us through. Uh, what's the story behind Arctic Blue Beverages? Well, it all started in 2017. Um, there was a, this kind of crazy vision to vision to encapsulate, catch and encapsulate the Arctic nature into the bottle. And so the story started. And, uh, and this was also the start of our uh, flagship product, Arctic Blue Gin. And um, that uh, instantly gained a lot of uh, international recognition. And um, th- for the first year, uh, it won in the World Spirits Awards. It won uh, uh, Gin of the Year, uh, the best Gin of the Year in 2018. And then uh, also uh, the Spirit of the Year. So like big awards instantly for, for the product. And then uh, next year, we followed with Arctic Blue Gin Navy Strength, which is a bit of a, well, a tougher version of, of Arctic Blue Gin. And, uh, and a similar thing happened again. So, so we won the biggest competitions. We got double gold from San Francisco and also um, best of show award, which is very rare to, to, to gain. So, so this really kind of kick-started the whole, whole company and, and our story. Yeah. And I, I would assume within a beverage like gin, it's, it's all about the flavors, the subtle flavors. Yes. And that's where the Arctic nature comes in. Correct. Trying to encapsulate. Yes. There's there's some blueberry hints and flavors to it, or yeah, yeah. yeah. So so our kind of secret, or not not to say secret, but the key key <laughs> yeah. ingredients yeah. is uh, wild blueberry, uh, which yeah. grows in the forests of Finland. So so that 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 is really really the key key to our products and also to our product uh, um, taste profile. And uh, yeah, I'm, our our mission is to to really craft the world's best um, beverages from natural Nordic ingredients. So, so it's like everything we do is, is like from the natural ingredients. So wild blueberries, um, Northern bon- bot- botanicals, uh, um, uh, organic oats, and then uh, naturally the kind of uh, pure spring water, yeah, the yeah. purest purest in the world. So, so that is like, that, that builds the unique taste of, of the products, but then also the, uh, our uh, special uh, distilling method, which which uh, which is done without chill filtering the products, that uh, preserves all the all the natural aromas and pectins and essential oils of l- blueberries. So uh, this also like really kind of makes our product special. And yeah. and when you like when you pour some um, uh, cold 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 tonic water and ice into our gin, it turns in. Turn, turn, turns into this kind of glowy, magical white color. So oh, it's wow. it's really unique how how it yeah. works. And, and and you sort of profile yourself as a, a craft beverage company. You're speaking about this uh, craftsmanship of using the natural ingredients in a special distillation process. But do please talk a little bit more about that craft beverage product line. Yeah. You were hinting at this oat product. That that's one of the newer products, right? Uh, so you have the gin, that's the the, uh, the flagship, but yes. it's more in the product portfolio. Yes, so so um, as I said, the craft for us means that that the uh, we do it in small patches, and also our distilling method, which I which I already mentioned, it, it is unique for for this kind of uh, small patches. But then also the um, the all the natural um, ingredients, which 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 are like almost like taking from the fo- from the forest and yeah. put into the bottle. So so this is the uniqueness of, of our products and for let's say for someone living in Nordics it's it's common that you just walk around and you pick some berries and eat them. But uh, looking at that from the international uh, market perspective where we are aiming at uh, it is really luxury and special and, and that's why it is kind of our unique unique selling point as well. Then to, to your question regarding the oat, oat. So we have like the gin portfolio, which is like very highly awarded. And then we have our innovative oat, oat portfolio as well. We launched, launched uh, last year uh, our first 
uh, oat liquor, which is like a combination of, uh, of uh, Arctic blue gin and then Finnish organic oats and then uh, pure spring water uh, put together. So it's like 100% um, dairy-free vegan alternative for uh, like cream liquors. And, and this is like the first product. So now we are, we are starting to build that platform onward. Okay. So we will be launching like oat-based RTDs. Uh, if you know these ready-to-drink products, which are very, very popular nowadays, we'll be launching these kind of products. First one is actually already selling in Finland. Yeah. And we're going to expand that, that portfolio by bringing new flavors and, uh, and also bring it uh, here to, to Sweden yeah. later yeah. in the year. And those ready-to-drink uh, sort of meals or, or packages, is there a better uh, profit or, I mean, looking at it from a financial perspective, yeah. how, how does that mix well in, in the portfolio? Well, naturally right now as we are like building the portfolio, uh, it, it takes time to be like in, in there in the, in the kind of the right profit level. But naturally, these are like uh, highly profitable products going forward. Yeah, yeah. But also, I mean, I would say that whole our portfolio of premium uh, products. So from gins to, to liquors and to RTDs, as we are in the premium segment, it is highly, highly profitable. Yeah. And let's talk about innovation. I mean, so some of your aim and goal and ambition is to innovate the beverage industry. So what's there to be innovated? Isn't the beverage industry, isn't it about the beverages in themselves? Or what, what, what's yeah. the innovation about? That's a re really good question. And also, I think that links very much to, to kind of my background as well. I've been like in consumer business, consumer product business for, for 20 years. And, and I've been involved with a lot of technology companies and so forth. And when I, when I, when I came into this business, I wanted to see that what could be done within beverages that is something that no one else has done before. And uh, a unique thing for us is, is our approach, how we, how we approach product development. So, so we really, uh, I, I mean, we really um, invest in innovating. We want to, we want to like uh, test things uh, and, 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 you know, find, find various ways how to develop new, new and innovative products. And oat is something which, which we, we, um, we are, I would say, excelling right now. And uh, first products are out there, but we have this unique approach how we can combine the oat and, 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 uh, and alcohol. Yeah. It sounds easy, but it's actually, it's not. And that also explains why, or that's also the reason why there are not many such products yet available, yeah. but yeah. we have, we have basically kind of done the recipe and we know how it works now. And that will be yeah. uh, our, our kind of platform of innovation and, and also like we will be scaling that portfolio a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the uh, people investing or, or just interested in the company, they can expect a, a, a more of the pro product portfolio going forward. There's going to be some innovation. There's going to be some new products coming out yes. soon. Yes. I, I would say that like, the kind of the three kind of pillars are the the kind of our um, uh, award-winning gin portfolio, which is growing as we speak. Uh, just got a few new uh, awards to to our few few new launched products, so that looks really really like perfect there. And then our oat port portfolio, so oat liquors and all the products related to oat. That is another one which we see like if we look at the how the how the non-dairy trends are are growing and, and vegan trends, uh, kind of veganism and all that, uh, you know, there's a huge, huge, huge potential there yeah. to grow. And then the third one is, is the, the RTD. So we also have like tonic water, which is like a perfect match uh -huh. to our genes. And then we have these RTDs, not too many yet, but we are working on those to, to get oh. that portfolio ex, ex, uh, expanded as well. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, and so now you're you're uh, about to launch uh, a IPO listing on the Swedish stock market. Yeah. So w why going public? That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, for us. I mean, we have a premium brand, premium products, uh, premium uh, margins, and and we also have a unique story which works like globally. Yeah. Then we have, as said already many times, we have a award-winning chin portfolio and oat, innovative oat, oat portfolio. And then we do have a pretty good foothold in, in current markets uh, where we are. So, so we are like uh, 50 markets right now in, in Europe and in Asia. So, so that is already a kind of good platform to grow. 
and uh, all those countries are also backed with our e-commerce um, strategy. So, so, so these all put together uh, was a kind of what is the next step? Oh, naturally, the next step is to to continue expanding our countries uh, uh, where we are right now, expanding to new countries, and then bringing new innovative in, innovative products yeah. uh, to the market. So, natural next step uh, was to to list the company to the to the f first North growth market in Stockholm, yeah. and 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 this then uh, this gives us the tools to to go forward with our with our pretty ambitious plans. Yes, and speaking about those plans, for, for an investor, we're always curious about what's ahead in the future. So wh where do you see the, the market for beverages moving? You say 50 countries? Um, 15. 15. 15. Um, so where, where's the market headed? Any growth in the market? And where do you see Arctic Blue Beverages in three to five years? Uh, good question. It's like how we started. Um, uh, we focused a lot to Asian market because Nordic brands with interesting story, they really work well in in Asia and uh, and Japan has been our like a uh, biggest strategic focus area and our brand brand is really working well there and and we have a, a very high quality um, uh, distribution there uh, restaurant multi Michelin star restaurant chain Robuchon is representing us in in Japan for example so it's like a uh, you know that that is one one which works and uh, and 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 um, now I lost. If, uh, if you can re remind me what. So what... the market where it's headed. Um, yeah. any, okay. any Growth yes. in, the, in the beverage market yes. going forward. So so the the whole market. I mean, um, gin market and also liquor market. It's 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 continuously growing, and especially where we are positioned in the premium sector, mm -hmm. uh, it grows like plus plus ten percent uh, yearly. So so. There is a lot of potential for, for our, our kind of player with, with the unique USPs to, to go, go forward with, uh, with our um, award-winning chin portfolio yeah. and old products as well. Yeah. Okay, great. Valetri, thank you so much for uh, presenting here at Nordnet. And good luck now with the listing. Thank you. And to you listeners, thank you. And uh, if you're interested, there is the prospectus out uh, and you can read it more on the Nordnet site. Thank you and see you in the next one.